What we love about um, the premise of Battleship that's different from other alien invasion movies is that these are not all powerful aliens that can kill you with, you know, one mighty blast. Um, this is a very contained scouting group. It's the concept that we use also in war where a small group goes out to check out the mission, check out, get the lay of the land. And it's this scouting group of aliens that we come across and they're not invincible. They've had a piece of equipment break. Their communications tower, when they landed in the water, broke. And as a result, they have to rebuild that before they signal back home. And when we encounter them, they're very dominant in the initial skirmish, but we slowly start to figure out their weaknesses, that they're sensitive to light, that we know our terrain, we know the Hawaiian Islands, so we can take advantage of being on our home turf. The Missouri was where the Japanese surrendered in World War II, so it's a very special ship and the Missouri has just been turned into a museum and has been completely retrofitted and we had the opportunity while it was moving from dry dock to its permanent berth to take it out into the open ocean. It was towed, the engines are disabled now and um, you could tell that the men that were aboard the ship that had fought aboard that ship, that had worked on that ship, had repaired it, had kept it in, you know, its kind of glorious working shape all these years, literally were overjoyed. I mean, it was, uh, it was they were all on their cell phones calling their wives is what they were doing. They were so excited um, and never thought they would see the mighty Mo in the open ocean again. And